to another video. It's King Ranger 13. This is day four or five. Four or five of the build series of the shop there. So got done working out, did a uh, pretty big leg day. Just now getting back into lifting a little bit heavier again. But uh, anyway, pulling up to the shop. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please make sure to hit that like subscribe if you haven't already. And let's get going. Ooh, my puddle right there. Electrician is supposed to be um, working today. Josh, this uh, extension strip. Oh gosh, here we go. This is not a good day. I do after leg day. Is this? pressure here at Outdoor Cooks. It's a little better now. Oh, all right. So, you got the upstairs frame, exterior walls just about framed out. Coming along pretty good. And then uh, for the HVAC, right there, we're gonna run a, uh, like a 14 by 14 box that goes all the way down so the HVAC can run their ducts. And it's gonna stick, stick out a little bit, but I would rather go that route than giving up 14 inches on the floor of a false wall, because then it's, you know, you take a room from the offices and the conference room and stuff like that. So, um, you know, having that outside box, you know, it's gonna stick out, but at the same time, I think I've got a couple ideas for like some flags or banners or something like that. So we'll see how that looks out. So, got some awesome news and the skid steer is fixed. So they gave me a call here about 10 minutes ago. And so now I got the dually hooked up to the trailer and we are heading up to go pick it up and get that other piece of equipment off rent because it thing cost me money. So I bought a skid steer so I wouldn't have to rent, but then I've had to rent because my skid steer that I bought is down and I had to pay it to repair it. So all in total, a thousand dollar repair basically turned into two thousand dollar repair. But anyway, so I'm gonna pull into the shop real quick, just check on things before I head up and uh, go get the CC. Oh, and I forgot, I need to check on the electrician to see how he's doing. Hopefully he is almost done or something. We shall see. Yep. Like I had told me good. What's up, man? Hey, looking good. That's still done already. All right, cool. We gotta go to the splash and get a few more yeah, things. Yeah, that's good. Come out that meter base on the outside. All right, good deal. But you see the hole right here. Going on the outside. Okay. Let me get some phone. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. Uh, we gotta get a healthy. All right. Yeah. Uh, back in here. Oh yeah, just for feature. <laughs> All right. Cool. Is 
Sounds good. I appreciate it, man. Wow. So this will be the office for me, like my study room up here is the hallway. Ooh, I guess we're gonna put a door here for the conference room. This is going fast. Holy crap. Alrighty, we're here. All right, let me go and pay. Needs a bat. Let's get this sucker loaded. Uh, I guess first I need to take down these, these things. rock and roll got crocs for a reason i guess and yes floor mats are on the way Ew. so why i put the skits here backwards is because uh the guy at the dealership uh he was saying that you should load it backwards and I mean, I do have a plexiglass on it, so I'm not worried about it, you know, breaking from a rock or something like that, but he said some other reason why he put it backwards, but I don't know. Just went ahead and tried it just for the heck of it, so. Alrighty, so we're pulling back up to the job site. Skid steer in great shape. Didn't notice any difference while I'm pulling or anything, but I think Josh and Colby and all of them have gone for the day but uh let's uh let's get turned around here and see what's going on things unloaded. Guess I'm gonna have to get my feet a little muddy. Wish those weather techs could be here quicker. But you know, it is what it is. 